Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to talk about air strippers. Many brands include them on their guns, and there are many, many aftermarket options available. The purported effects of air strippers is that they improve accuracy and consistency by reducing turbulence and air disturbances around projectiles as they leave the barrel. Now, I don't know anything about that. I do think that they look good a lot of the time, but that's as far as my expertise go. I haven't even looked up if anyone else has done a video on this. I'm sure there are at least a few out there, but I'm a see for myself kind of guy, and so I'm here to see for myself whether or not airstrippers have any effect on air guns. Obviously, this particular video won't be a conclusive test. There are too many variables for me to possibly test them all right now in one video, but I have three different air strippers and three different guns in two different calibers with me today. I should be able to get at least some kind of rudimentary knowledge from the selection I have here. The guns in question are a 22 cal Rexum X Tormenta, a sub 500 feet per second 25 cal Crawl MP01, and a sub 500 feet per second 25 cal Rexum X Daystar. And the air strippers in question are a 22 cal Crawl 1, a 25 cal Rexum X1, and a 25 cal Hatsan 1. Now, to be clear, I'm pretty confident that based on the science, air strippers can have an effect when it comes to shooting slugs or pellets at high speeds and at long ranges, where every little variable or advantage accounts for something. But right now, for this video, I'm more interested in the kind of shooting that I do on a regular basis, low to medium speeds at closer distances. I plan on doing a longer range video on this at a later date, but for now I'll be shooting at 25 meters. For this video, I'm going to go through each gun one at a time. I'll start with a five shot group with a naked barrel followed by two groups with air strippers. I'll try and explain things as I go and at the end I'll try and come up with some kind of a conclusion. I will be shooting H&N's field target trophy pellets in all of the guns today just for simplicity's sake. Okay, let's get into it. First up is the 22 cal Rexum X Tormenta. It's currently set at a lower power setting and shooting at 560 feet per second. This first group with the naked barrel is six shots by accident and I pulled the two lower shots. So it's not perfect, but those four shots that group together are pretty good. The next group is shot using the crawl air stripper, and <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. If you pay attention to the bottom right corner of the right hand target, you'll see the group come together, I guess. I don't currently have another 22 cal gun that can use this air stripper, but I'll put something together because I'd like to see if I can get these same results on another gun. So look forward to that in a future video because this is just crazy. For this third group, I'm going to use the 25 cal Rexum X air stripper because they say that you can use it on guns 25 cal and lower, so let's try. I pulled the third shot in this group, but without that, the group isn't really better or worse. I'd say that realistically, it's pretty similar to the first group. Maybe with different pellets, you'd see a different result, but that level of testing eclipses the scope of this video. This round seems like a strike against air strippers for now. Next up is the sub 500 feet per second 25 cal Rexum X Daystar and it's shooting these FTT pellets at about 480 feet per second. The barrel is nude for this group and I'd say it's pretty good. I didn't pull any of the shots, at least not too badly, and three of the pellets basically went through the same hole. Let's see if we can improve on that.
The second group will be shot using the Hatsan Air Stripper, and four of the five pellets are pretty close. I wouldn't say that this is any worse than the first group, but it definitely doesn't seem much better, if at all. For our third group, I'll be shooting through the Reximex air stripper that comes stock on this gun. And damn, my shooting doesn't get much better than that. It's hard to say if that's the result of the air stripper, but it's encouraging. This is a much better group than either of the last two. For our third and final gun, we have a sub 500 feet per second, 25 cal crawl MP01, and it shoots these pellets at just about 500 feet per second. This gun is at a bit of a disadvantage compared to the other two, as I have a 1 to 6 power LPVO on it and not a more suitable scope for testing groups, but we'll make it work. For our first group with the naked barrel, things go pretty smooth. Not the best group, but not the worst either. The second group uses the Reximex airstripper off of the Daystar, and would you look at that, it's definitely a tighter group, not by miles, but I think most people would be happy with an improvement like that. For our third group, we're using the Hatsan Air Stripper and we have another improved group. I pulled the third shot a little bit, so I sent a six pellet down range just out of curiosity and damn, that's a group I'm happy with. So, what do we think? It seems to me like at this range and power level, there is the potential for slight accuracy gains using an air stripper, assuming it's the right air stripper, and its effectiveness will likely vary depending on the pellets being used and other factors. Like I was saying earlier, there is likely a more pronounced effect at higher powers and longer ranges, but it's still interesting to see what air strippers can do in this particular circumstance.
The only thing I'm left confused about after all this testing is the group with the crawl air stripper out of the Tormenta. That was such a drastic shift in point of impact and accuracy. I'm for sure planning to investigate that further, as well as the air strippers at longer ranges and higher powers. For now, my conclusion is, damn, that Reximex air stripper is pretty sweet and not just pretty looking. What do you guys think about all this? Feel free to drop your comments, ideas, suggestions, anything you gotta say down in the comments, and go ahead and like this video or subscribe to the channel if that's the sort of thing you're into. Thanks for watching and have a great day.